In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My brothers and sisters, let's acknowledge our sins, and so prepare us to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You are sent to heal the contrite of hearts. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who by the glorification of your Christ and the light of the Holy Spirit have unlocked for us the gates of eternity, grant, we pray, that partaking of the so great a gift, our devotion may grow deeper and our faith be strengthened. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. King Agrippa and Bernice arrived in Caesarea to visit on a visit to Festus. Since they spent several days there, Festus referred Paul's case to the king, saying, This man here left in custody by Felix. When I was in Jerusalem, the chief priests and the elders of the Jews brought charges against him and demanded his condemnation. I answered them that it was not Roman practice to hand over an accused person before he faced his accusers and had the opportunity to defend himself against their charge. So when they came together here, I made no delay. The next day I took my seat on the tribunal and ordered the man to be brought in. His accusers stood around him, but did not charge him with any of the crimes I suspected. Instead, they had some issues with him about their own religion and about a certain Jesus who had died, but who Paul claimed was alive. Since I was at a loss of how to investigate this controversy, I asked if he were willing to go to Jerusalem and there stand trial on these charges. And when Paul appealed that he had been in custody for the emperor's decision, I ordered him held until I could send him to Caesar. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord has established his throne in heaven. The Lord has established his throne in heaven. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all my being, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. The Lord has established his throne in heaven. As for the heavens are on high above the earth, so surpassing is his kindness toward those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far has he put our transgressions from us. The Lord has established his throne forever. The Lord has established his throne in heaven, and his kingdom rules over all. Bless the Lord, all you his angels, you might, your mighty in strength who do his bidding. The Lord has established his throne in heaven. Alleluia! Alleluia! Peter answered him, Yes, Lord, you know that I love you. 
He said to him, Tend my sheep. He said to him a third time, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Peter was distressed that he had said this to him a third time, Do you love me? And he said to him, Lord, you know everything. You know that I love you. Jesus said to him, Feed my sheep. Amen, amen, I say to you, when you were younger, you used to dress yourself and go where you wanted. But when you grow old, you will stretch out your hands, and someone else will dress you and lead you where you do not want to go. He said this, signifying by what kind of death he would glorify God. And when he had said this, he said to him, Follow me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The question posed to St. Peter in today's Gospel, do you love me? The question that we always ask ourselves, do we love the Lord? Do we allow the Lord to enter into our life each day? Do we actually follow his ways in which he is calling each and every one of us? And our Lord is reminding Simon Peter himself that he will go in a, in a place where he probably would not want to do to his own, his own death and his own crucifixion, but to have faith and trust in the Lord, that we are to follow the Lord at every moment, follow the Lord at every moment of our lives, in those difficult times and the joyous times. We, we pray today that we too have that simple yes to the Lord, do you love me? We pray for that gift as a yes. confidence in God who hears us, let us bring our needs before him. For the church is the body of Christ here on earth. May the Lord grant us patience for one another, bearing with one another in love with humble and gentle hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For world, national, and local leaders, may the God who gives wisdom to us, to the wise and knowledge, to discerning what but his prudent decisions we make. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are persecuted for their faith in Christ, may the hope of the resurrection fill them with courage and strength. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us here, may the grace of God embolden and strengthen us in lives of discipleship. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died and marked with the sign of faith, may they come to share in the glory of the Father. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We place those petitions which are in the silence of our heart before God. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And especially remember Edith Frio, for whom this Mass is being offered. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty and eternal God, hear our prayers and answer them according to your holy will. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all. For through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may be accepted by you, Lord, and may your sacrifice be pleasing to you, O Lord God. Lord, wash away my iniquity and cleanse me of my sin.
Bring my brothers and sisters that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord set the sacrifice at your hands, to the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Look mercifully, O Lord, we pray, upon the sacrificial gifts of your people, and that they may become acceptable to you. Let the coming of the Holy Spirit cleanse our consciousness through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word to whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin. Fulfilling your will and gaining few a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with angels and all the saints, we declare your glory, as with one voice we acclaim, Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy their for these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. And bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Nelson our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, and with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life. We praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and for my divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, Graciously grant peace in our days, 
that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we wait the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him that takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ keep me safe for eternal life. Keep you safe, Rachel, in life. Let us pray. O oh God, by whose mysteries we are cleansed and nourished, grant, we pray, that this banquet which you give us may bring everlasting life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Go in peace. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Have a nice day, everyone.